Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantel. This is my basic journey. I live and travel in my minivan with my dog Joey and we're currently in Quartzsite, Arizona. I've been here for almost two weeks now and I've shown you guys where I've stayed. We've been at Scat and Wash and Quartzsite actually has five different BLM areas in the immediate Quartzsite area for free camping which is why I think I love it so much because it is very easy to find camping, to find water, to find showers. Everything is right here in Quartzsite. It's just, it's very van life friendly and I just love it here. It's very peaceful. There are a lot of really awesome people and I've met a few of them over the last couple weeks. So if I've met you, thank you for coming and seeing me. So yeah, we're in Quartzsite and today I think we're gonna go into town. I'm gonna go do some shopping around town so I figured I could show you around and then I think we're gonna go to a new camping area so like I said there's five different BLM areas in the immediate courtside area so that's not including like Ehrenberg or up at Parker which is not very far away just in the courtside area there's five different free camping BLM areas so you can either go to Scat and Wash which is the one we're at right now um, Dome Rock, which is the first one that I went to when I came to Quartzsite last year for the first time. And then there's Plumosa Road, which is the one I think we want to go to today, which I've already been to, but I really liked. And then there's High Jolly, which is on the way to Plumosa Road. However, High Jolly last year, and when we drive by today, we can kind of see how it looks, but last year it was so packed. It just, I mean... It wouldn't be good for me personally, but if you like to be really, really close to your neighbors where you can like smell what they're cooking and see everything they're doing, you know, that's cool. But I don't think I'm going to be staying there. And then the last one, which I haven't been to, is Roadrunner, which is south of town. So I think we're going to go to Plumosa Road this time around, but we have a lot to do today in town. So I'm going to bring you along with me. We're going to go do some fun things around town, some new things. Um, Joey has a grooming appointment today, which is very exciting. Last year when I was here, it was very hard to make a grooming appointment anywhere. So I'm happy I'm getting him in early. <laughs> so yes, he is going to go get his hair cut today. And the first thing that I need to do is go take a shower. So like I said, Quartzsite has a few different places you can go and take a shower. But one of my favorites is connected to a laundromat because we also have to do laundry. And there's also a restaurant. There are not a lot of vegan options available, but I was able to get hash browns and some veggies last year. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. Yes, so let's go take a shower because I need it. So this is the Main Street laundromat and they have laundry, there's a restaurant over on this side, and then inside of there they also have showers and it's $10 for a shower. It's very convenient to have everything in one place, although I was too late for breakfast so they didn't really have anything that I could eat in the restaurant for lunch, so I got some fries while I waited. <laughs> and uh, so now I want to go find some real food 
and I need to stop at the post office. Ready to go, Joe? You ready to get out of here, Joey? Yeah, let's go. I just needed to drop something off here, but you can get general delivery at this post office. It just has really weird hours. Like, I think it's only two hours, 11 to 1, Monday through Friday, not on Saturdays. I think they might have changed it, but there is always a line. So if you are going to get general delivery here, show up early because once it hits 1 o'clock, they close the window and they don't let you get your package. So, yeah. I just go to Blythe because you can have 30 days, up to 30 days at a post office. And so I usually do Blythe and then I switch it to Quartzsite when I am up with my time with Blythe. <laughs> it's a lot easier to get packages there. So, now what do we have to do? Um, we still have about an hour before Joey's grooming appointment. So I think we're just gonna hang out. We're gonna go find something to look at. Originally, we were gonna go to the Palm Plaza to get some water because it's on the way to Plumosa Road. But here we are at the mobile, just right outside the mobile that has a Burger King. They have some water. It's still only 25 cents a gallon or you do five for a dollar, which is what we're doing. Don't mind my blankets all piled up back here, uh, but Joey is in getting his hair cut now and she said it would be about two hours. So we have a couple hours to just hang out and do whatever we want. So we're gonna head over, there's a spot down the street called the Smoothie Spot <laughs> and I wanna go get a smoothie. Your destination is on the right. Yum, guys, their smoothies are amazing. So this one is pineapple, strawberry, coconut milk, um, some kale, spinach, and then I think that's it. I think that was all that was in it, but it is so good. Her little shop was so cute, and she also has these little souvenirs that are handmade. Her mom makes these. It's so cute. Yes. So I got a towel and a pot holder and a smoothie. <laughs> I really liked that place and she was very nice. My next stop is groceries and I already showed you guys this but this is the Roadrunner Market. It's personally my favorite place to get groceries in Quartzsite because they have the best produce here but there are a few different places to get groceries in town but this is definitely my favorite. Okay so I went to Roadrunner and they were out of quite a lot of stuff right now. I guess they get stuff in in a couple days. And so I'm trying a new spot. This is Ken's Grocery Outlet. Just to kind of see what they have going on in here. So anywhere else in the United States, I do not get recognized from YouTube just walking down the street somewhere. But in Quartzsite, I think because the community is so prevalent here that I get recognized quite often. In fact, I went into the Carl's Jr. to use their bathroom and grab a veggie burger and somebody recognized me and came up to me and offered to pay for my meal. Oh my gosh. So I just want to say a quick thank you to Carrie and her husband Troy. They were inside the Carl's Jr. when I went in there. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. It was so awesome meeting you. I'm sure I'll see you guys again down the road, but thank you so much. I am so grateful for you guys. That was so sweet. So now I have to go pick up Joey. It's time to go pick him up and see his new haircut. I'm sure he's a handsome boy. So let's go get him. Hey, little random cat. 
<laughs> you look so good, Joe. You're so cute with your new haircut. Look at your little tie. Oh my gosh, you're the cutest boy. Good job, baby. You look so cute. They did such a good job. Um, now we're going to head to Plumosa Road to go set up camp and hang out there for a little while. Take the next right onto Arizona 95 North, North Central Boulevard. Continue on Arizona 95 North for six miles. There's the Palm Plaza right there that has the water and the laundromat. Also right here, you guys, is where the dump is. And it has really weird hours. I will look it up and put it on the screen, but yeah, you can take your trash there for free, but it has weird hours. And then this is High Jolly, which it still looks freaking packed in my opinion, which makes me not want to stay there. the next right onto Plumosa Road, then your destination will be on the right. Your destination is on the right. So right when you turn in here, there's a place to go get a permit, just like scat and wash. And it's for 14 days. So I'm gonna pick that up really quick. Alrighty friends, let's go find where we're gonna sleep. So as you guys can see, this kind of has open areas on both sides of the road. And then those areas go back even further. So we are gonna find a spot. Last year we went on that side. And this year I think I wanna try this side. So let's go find some. I feel like today just flew by. The sun is already setting. But here we are at our spot in Plumosa Road, BLM area. Hey Joe. I think this will do just fine. Another classic Arizona sunset. Just so beautiful.
Good morning, everybody. Today was pretty productive. I got everything set up and I did my dishes. I also set up my privacy tent. And I noticed when I was putting it up that there are holes in some spots already. I've only set that thing up a couple times, so it's pretty disappointing because it was like $70. And I paid, you know, $40 or $50 for one. Had the same issues. So really, that extra $30 isn't worth it. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm still happy to have it. And this handsome boy, this handsome boy with his new haircut. It looks so cute, Joey. Are you the cutest boy? Something I don't talk about a lot is I really love my job. Like, I love creating videos. The process of editing videos is fun to me. And something I really like about it is that you can sit down and then before you know it, four hours goes by. <laughs> and so now it's lunchtime and I'm gonna make some veggie chicken nuggets from Morningstar and some chips and salsa. And we're gonna watch some of the 100 while we do that. <laughs> Exciting stuff out here in the desert, isn't it? I love it, it's so relaxing. It's beautiful out here. Some people find the desert like desolate and empty, but I love it. I love it out here so much. <sighs> Let's eat some nuggets. So I'm gonna be staying here at Plumosa Road BLM area for a little while, at least until I run out of water, which is always the first thing that I need to restock on. So until that happens, I'm gonna be staying here and just enjoying this beautiful desert landscape. Plumosa Road isn't my favorite. I do believe that Skadden Wash is my favorite just because it has all the saguaros, but honestly, they're all great, like all the ones that I've been to. Um, High Jolly is the only one that I haven't felt the need or want to go to just because it's so busy every time I drive by. Even in this video, when we drove by it, it was packed. I do prefer to be a little bit more secluded, um, but it is nice to have the community, which is one of the, like, the biggest draws for Quartzsite for me, just because there are so many people out here doing the same exact thing that I am. It just makes you kind of feel like you're part of this community. Also, Quartzsite is just great in general for van life or anybody who's a nomad or you live in an RV. It just has everything you need. There is water everywhere and it's only 25 cents a gallon. It's great. There are showers everywhere. There's free camping everywhere. It's just a really, really amazing place. I just wanted to showcase that a little bit in this video. Um, I have been here before. I've made tons of videos on Quartzsite last year, but there's always something new to discover. In fact, there was one of the BLM areas that I haven't even been to yet, the Roadrunner BLM, which is south of town. And we'll get there eventually in a couple weeks, I think. Um, because next week I have something else planned. But we'll get there. Before I leave this season, I do want to get there just so I can say that I've been to every single one. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>